Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Ascendant. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, uh, uh, we're gonna. Uh, it's actually gonna be kind of a bit of an update ex ep episode, we'll say. Um, so I don't even know where to start. <laughs> the reason being is because I have been gone um, on about a 10 day business trip um, and haven't been playing, so I gotta kind of get my head back in the game. Uh, but I also have um, some something happening uh, something good happening in real life too um so yeah just a lot of stuff oh man a lot of stuff to talk about so i guess um the first thing is is that i did um another fight uh with megapithecus and kicked the shit out of him um so we got our, our army down there here's uh just a uh, some quick footage from that Okay, and then I don't think you guys have seen my completed um, uh, trophy room here. I, I started building it, I believe, in the last episode. But this is what it looks like on the outside. Um, so, oh my god. And when I, whenever I go near this structure, I, I get like really severe lag. Um, yeah, but so this is how I decorate it on the outside. Kind of put... You know, use some of the rails and triangular pieces just to add a little bit of pizzazz to it. And then uh, on the inside. So this is what it looks like here on the inside. So I used some, uh, you know, some of the element pillars there. And some more, you know, more of the glass and some rails and have all of the... The main three bosses, uh, the alpha bosses, mounted. Um, on the back side here, I have the T the alpha T-Rex trophy um, mounted, and then just you know some extra flags that I've that I've thrown in. So it's looking pretty cool. Um, I I really like how it's turned out here. It's just really laggy as hell though here. And let's see what else we have. Um, all right, we're continuing to, to breed because, of course, our next big challenge is, is to do the tech cave. And what I've been doing is um, I've been going out looking to see if I can find a, a, a carch, a Carcadonosaurus. I think that's I, I think I finally figured out how to pronounce that. <laughs> and I have been completely unsuccessful. I mean, I've killed multiple gigas. And let's see how many gigas have I killed. We can tell that by looking at the hearts here. So yeah, I've killed five gigas, um, but I can't I, I can't find a carch, and I've even done another dino wipe too. So I don't know what the hell's going on. Um, it's just probably you know the luck of the draw, I suppose. Uh, but we're gonna we're gonna continue to look at, you know for one of those because I, I want one A and B, unless uh, wild card has changed something since the last I heard. You can take them into the tech cave, so they're really good creatures for clearing the the tech cave itself. Um, I am continuing to run a rex breeding program up on the platform up here and whoops wrong platform oh by the way if i sound a little bit nasally it's because i've had covid too so <laughs> I had a nasty case of covid uh, i caught it while i was on my trip and just uh, been pretty sick the last you know last week or so uh, but i i am on the mend uh, but anyway, I, I have um, the Rexes, you know, are breeding up here. These are all base Rexes. And then I also nabbed a couple of Quetzals. Um, getting these are super easy, you know, with the Rhinonatha. Because you can just chase them down and shoot them. And yeah, 
Uh, and the main reason I got these two is because, um, you know, just to get the quetz eggs, so we have those for the, our next attempt at our radio natha. So we got those two going on there, and then I have, let's see, it looks like we have a total of 10 base mothers and a base father uh, with the Rex with the Rex breeding. And then I have, um, I got an egg guy up here too. And he's also got another uh, egg from the Quetzes. Get out of here. Okay, so let's see here. Now, um, I think that's mostly it. I don't, I don't think I have anything else real significant to update you guys on since the last episode. I know it's been for you guys about two weeks or so. Um, let's go back to the base here. And now uh, a word, I, I want to mention something about this rhino here. I have... I've underestimated how effective it is, even with its really crappy low level. Um, I've, I've spent a lot of time on it, um, just leveling up mostly its stamina, but I've also given it a little bit of, um, uh, you know, a little bit of health and a little bit of melee too, but mostly its stamina. And this creature is just so useful. Um, and so, you know, even though, like I said, we, when we got it, it was very low level because the very first thing that, you know, that it asked for was the one thing I didn't have, <laughs> the golden Hesperornis egg, uh, which, by the way, is on the to-do list, too. Um, but, you know, just taking it out and leveling up its stamina and stuff, it's just it's just an amazing mount. Uh, so so useful for so many different things. Um, you know, I can use it to kill Gigas, for example, from the sky because you can shoot from its back and all that kind of cool stuff. Um, so, so yeah, I'm, I'm just, like I said, I've been, oh, uh, been going around looking for for carches because that's kind of the next big thing uh, on the to-do list while we continue the breeding program because i'm you know mostly i mean we've killed all the bosses we've done alpha dragon and alpha mega t two or three times now and we'll continue to to farm them um you know so m mostly it's just kind of a hurry up and wait situation with with the breeding and i'm i'm fairly confident i i say fairly <laughs> confident that we could go do um probably gamma tech cave which was kind of my original um intent but i have a feeling like we could probably actually do alpha successfully if, if i if i prepare for it you know what i mean uh which means we need to continue you know doing more breeding um and getting our dinos a little stronger <laughs> Uh, my plan for that, by the way, uh, you know, the uh, the first plan or plan A, I guess you would call it, is to, to get a Karch uh, and then have a couple, you know, of Rexes accompany it to clear the tech cave and then just bring as many theories as we can get in there um, to do the boss fight itself. Um, just because I'm not super, I, I'm more worried about clearing the tech cave than I am about the actual boss fight itself, because that that seems to be the, the you know, the more difficult part of that whole ordeal. Uh, and not only, you know, clearing the tech cave and all the creatures that are, are going to be in it, uh, which are going to be very, very strong on alpha, but even just getting them through it without them, you know, pathing into the lava and stuff. So, um, yeah, it's uh, it's going to be going to be a challenge for sure. But. All that to say, I, I think that, we, you know, we will be able to to probably uh, do Alpha if, like I said, we, we just prepare properly for it. All right, let's take a quick break up here. And, yeah, there's no there's no big baddies down there. I just, um, I did shut my server down while I was gone, you know, for, for 10 days because there's no point in running it. I'm, I'm the only one that plays on here. But, um, yeah, I, I'm just, you know, I, I go and fly all over the mountains here i'm going to double tap that uh so you know you basically you fly over you know both of the mountains uh i can't remember what the hell this is called but this this is the frozen fang this is forest peak um and just kind of along in through there and i just you know i i can't find one i i have not seen one i've seen lots of gigas but not a cart so the only thing i can do is keep trying you know um i guess we might as well check this yellow drop and see if it's got anything good in it 
Um, I do want to also... Yeah, we'll take that. I've been playing... Uh, I started playing... Uh, what's it What's it called? Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. In Shrouded. Um, and, you know, wouldn't you know it, they, they released it while I was on my trip. Um, so, you know, I got behind on it in terms of, you know, starting the game compared to everybody else. But it is what it is. What can you do, right? Uh, so I've been playing a lot of that and just really enjoying it. And uh, we'll continue to do that alongside of, you know, uh, playing Ark here too uh, for the immediate future. So anyway, um, yeah, so I don't see anything up here on the volcano in terms of, of a car or a gig. So so now for, for kind of a big in real life announcement. I have decided that um, I decided to make an investment in mostly a new new rig, new PC. Um, I don't have to, I don't have to buy everything new. Cause I, you know, some of the stuff I have, like I got a thousand watt power supply. I got a really nice case, that kind of thing. Uh, I don't need new monitors or keyboards or anything like that, but, um, I'm basically going to rebuild my, my PC and, um, I spent some money. <laughs> I, I went ahead and got, uh, an I nine, uh, uh, what is it? A, a 14, seven, uh, 700 or yeah, 700 K the, whatever the highest I nine is that's currently on the market. And the reason I spent so much money on that damn thing is because not just for, you know, playing video games and recording, but also for, for editing and, and especially rendering. Because my, my rig right now is about five years old. I built it about five years ago. And it's um it's got it's got a i7 720X uh you know uh, Intel on it. And it just it just takes forever to render videos. I mean I have to record videos and then I have to render them overnight. And sometimes when I get up in the morning, they're still not done. It depends upon how long they are and that kind of thing. So I decided to talk to my wife a little bit and I said, you know what, I'm just going to make an investment and um, I'm going to buy buy the good stuff. Uh, so I got that coming and then I've got a a, a, a Gigabyte Aorus uh, Elite, I think it is, something or other board coming. Um, new... Uh, new NVE RAM, uh, Samsung 990, uh, two terabyte. I, I've got plenty of those already, but I wanted to get a, a new one, you know, for the for the new operating system. And uh, let's see. I also I, I decided not to buy a 4080 because they're just too goddamn expensive. Um, it's just it's ridiculous. But what I did do is I bought a 4070 Ti Super, uh, which is about four hundred dollars less than the 4080 and damn near almost as good at it in the benchmark test that I've watched, you know, from a few different YouTube channels. Um, and, and so I went ahead and, and bought that. And so once I get all that stuff set up, um, and, you know, new RAM and all that kind of thing too, of course, I think I got the G-Skill Trident um, DDR5 6400s, uh, 64 gigabyte. Um, so once I get all that set up, uh, I should be able to play this game on, you know, on high settings. Because uh, right now everything's on medium and it's still, you know, as you can tell, it's still a little glitchy and stuff uh, for me. Frame rate's not all that great. It works, but, you know, could be much better. Uh, so, you know, this game's going to run better, but also more importantly, it's just going to make my life a lot better when it comes to editing and especially rendering videos, too. So anyway, um, that's all coming in, you know, over the course of the next few days. I bought it all online, of course. And uh, when it does, then, you know, I'm going to probably be down for a few days just putting it all together testing it get it all configured i might do a little bit of light overclocking i don't know we'll see I, it, well i probably won't at first i'll just see how it works out of the box and if it works great i probably won't even screw with overclocking i'm not um I, i'm one of those kind of people that just barely dabbles in that kind of thing a little bit but i i just i don't get all hardcore about it because it's just not something i'm interested in doing i suppose plus it's you know can get pretty complicated if you really get into it um, so anyway, just want to let you guys know that that is, uh, you know, the plan coming up over the next few days and, uh, excited to announce that, you know, I'm going to get that new PC. So as far as arc itself goes, yeah, like I said, um, we're going to, I'm just going to keep reading, um, keep looking for a cartridge. Uh, the plan is to try and get a better running on at some point. We're also going to do, uh, we're going to try and tame up a Hasperornis. 
and you know just some things like that we you know i, I want to run the ice cave again for loot I, I continue to run the swamp cave you know for better loot i haven't really found anything super super better than what i already have and what you guys already know that i have from previous videos um oh you know what this guy is super great for hunting uteranus lungs too because you basically go down pick the uti up he's, he's completely immune to their roar Um, I couldn't, I can't see what the hell's going on here. He's right in the trees. So what you can do is you can pick this guy up. Um, oh, wait a minute. I have to hold down control. There we go. And then just fly him away from his buddies. He can't do a damn thing to hurt you. Well, he can, he can nibble on you, but it's not that big a deal. And then, you know, just kill him away from his buddies and grab his lungs. So it just works amazingly well. That's, that's again, another thing why I like this creature so much. It's just incredibly useful. Even at, like I said, this low level here. There we go. Um, and uh, at some point, you know, in the... Hopefully fairly near future, we will be ready to take on the tech cave. Now, I know that today's February the 1st when I'm recording this, and I know that uh, at least last I heard, I haven't actually been following for the last couple of weeks any ARC news, but last I heard, you know, uh, Center's supposed to come out sometime this month. And um, I would like to, to play and, you know, maybe do a series on, on the Center. But that, you know, that doesn't necessarily mean that we have to be done with this series. I mean, we can keep this series going, too. In fact, one of you guys told me in the comments that you thought it would be a good idea for me to just keep this series going for as long as I want to. Um, and also, you know, do do some new ones, too, which is certainly an option. Um, we can certainly do it that way, too. So we'll just kind of see how things, you know, play out. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you guys for now. You know, just kind of for an update on what's going on with this, with the series and with me and that kind of thing. Um, so I think what I'll do is I'm I'm going to officially end the episode here. I know it's going to be a little shorter than usual, but uh, I'm just kind of not really at a place where I'm ready to do a full, a full episode for you guys. And I'm just going to continue working on breeding. And when I... I'm ready to start the next episode, which will hopefully be when I finally find a car car. Um, then that that's pro probably what we'll do is we'll we'll, we'll uh, do the next episode with me uh, taming the Carcadonosaurus. Uh, but or, or, you know, whatever makes sense, you know, to start the next episode with. So with that being said, thanks, everybody, for watching. Um, I will be back soon uh, with, with some more arc. It's just not going to be every, you know, every day uh, for the next couple of weeks, probably. But uh, we will be out there, and it, uh, or I will continue it rather. And if you guys are interested, stop by and uh, see me play the um, um, Enshrouded series. I'm really having a lot of fun with it and um, enjoying that. So I'd like to see you come over and hang out there too. All right, guys, with that being said, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye bye.